Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're going to check out Ten's uh, NCT Lab birthday. I think this is the song that he performed at that dance show in China that he's a part of. That's very unconventional that like they would perform it prior to the actual music video release. I was hoping that there will be an SMP floor version um, like with Solgis, but of course that's different. This is just an NCT lab. Um, and hers is a full solo release, um, but there isn't. And I was hoping that, you know, by the time I get to it, because <laughs> I'm so late to it, that there would be one. But he did upload, I think, an Instagram version, like a video. So I'm going to take a look at that one if, if that is the same song. I, I remember him doing something. But if not, then we don't have anything to dissect. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. Like with the veil already, this is so artistic. Oh my god. <gasps> it's his bare feet! Contemporary! Baby, dance, dance, dance. Oh my god! His vocal too! Hello! <gasps> Ooh! Nice! It's... Oh my god! His tone is gorgeous in this. And the art form. Holy shit. Hey. Yes, you can have it. <gasps> the movements. This is the 10 that we know and love. It's so him. That's high. That's fucking high. His falsetto is strong. But like, look at those movements! Wait. <laughs> I just got the lyrics. Um, what do you mean, let's make tonight your birthday? <laughs> Gorgeous styling too. The styling is the styling is incredible. So this is ten. One, I, I I can already like I'm halfway to it. It's like it's ten. One of his ten, one of his bests in his career so far. I feel like this is the type. Like you know what? I'll just be honest. But music is subjective. Disclaimer: This is the kind of song that I would have probably preferred from his solo with Paint Me Naked. Um, but I get it. He said you know like what he said that. He just wanted to try something different because he have, he's already shown a lot of his other stuff. So that's why he went with something a little bit more different, like Paint Me Naked. But like this one, of course, we I'm sure every 10 stand missed this kind of performance from 10. Did he choreograph this? My God, that thrust. Why is this dance so like... The undertone is just like sex. <laughs> anyway, great lines. And, ah. Look at that bend! Oh my god! Where is the fucking dance practice to this? Look at that tilt of the head! Oh my god, you know what? With these um, kind of dancers, they're just so, so confident and free with their bodies that they're just you know they're just feeling the music and then you know like the throwbacks and stuff um, it does allow for more expression you know there's just freeness it, it 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 means that they're free that the dancer is like more free with their body when they're able to just like tilt their head and stuff it means they're comfortable with the choreography sorry i'm like pausing wow shit Wow, this is very contemporary. Excuse me. I was like, did they just give us more tents? One for each of us? <laughs> Ooh. Art. Nice footwork. The styling, too. Wow. Why is there no performance version of this? Wow. 
Wow. Is that the same chandelier but redressed for Make a Wish? The budget for this is insane. I get it. Wow. Ooh, that hip! Giving us Lalisa vibes! <laughs> nice! Mind you, he's just staying up there. Make tonight your birthday. Oh my god. The fuck happened? I think this is the performance version. No, this is this is very little. It's only less than two minutes, but um I guess we'll take a look. <laughs> I need him to tour this if ever Wavy comes. If ever Wavy tours, I would need need him to do this song. I went to the iPop U in Manila. I guess I have to say this in every single video because, you know, different fandoms, diff watches just specific videos on my channel. I'm back in Canada. But before I did go back last week, um, I did go to the iPop U. But of course, you know, Tan and Win Win, they, they weren't able to come, um, which was uh, very unfortunate. Um, it would have been insane to have seen him live. And of course, the win-win uh, too. For nonetheless, you know the other members. They're very welcome. They were they were so funny, and their chemistry as a group is just whatever you see in um, on like their reality shows and their variety shows. Their interactions, it's just it's there. Like you know, even on stage, they're just joking around all the time. Like they're just having so much fun. They love each other. You can tell. Yeah, they're just such a joy to watch. Even just like them talking. I feel like if they do a tour. <laughs> which I hope they do. I hope that Tan brings this because this is incredible. Okay, before okay, let's let's look, take a look at the choreography <laughs> before I say more. Oh wait, the song itself, like it's a great song. It's in line with like love talk message wise. <laughs> it's what Tan stands love. Like this song, this kind of song. You guys, I know you. <laughs> I'm guessing this is in China. Beautiful. It's a bad romance. Come my body rocking in slow motion. Nice. Ah, this is altered, I feel like. Cause honestly, this is more like lyrical hip hop. Maybe because of the outfit too. His his um his execution here, it's very hip hop. As opposed to what we saw in the music video. In the music video, it's very contemporary, the way he was attacking it. But I do think that this is a great demonstration of how your wardrobe affects your performance. You know, obviously with a, with a, with a hat, with the hoodie, the sweats, the bagginess of it, the way he's attacking it is a more hip-hop than the music video where he, where, he, where he was bare feet. Because, you know, for example, like when you, when you perform something bare feet, you point your toes. Um, and then the lines are a lot more fluid um, because they're bare. So with this, the shapes are actually quite different. And I feel like your aura also shifts when you're more like, there's the, the hoodie and like the hat. Um, your, your vibe will be a little bit more swaggy. Um, of course, there's fluidity to what he is doing as, uh, still, but um, the way he's moving, there's a hip hop 
swag to it. Unless it's altered. Nice. Oh my god, he's mastered dance. Nice. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's fine that he, he lost a little bit of balance there because, you know, it's a mat. So it's it's not going to be as uh, solid. But who choreographed this? It's badly. I mean, with the amount of choreography that happens out of K-pop, it's still so nice that I can just count on 10 to give me something that I have not seen before. You know, but at the same time, it's familiar. Like that's a tough combination. Something new but familiar. It's 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 not breaking so far out of what he's capable, but it still surprises us that he can do them. Am I making sense? Beautiful body lines. Like I I don't know. I don't think I need to repeat a lot of the things that I've mentioned about him in my other reactions. Um, but obviously, Tan is one of the best dancers right now. Um, it's just unfortunate that we don't always get to see it. Of course, you know, the situation with, um, with, with Wavy, it's a little bit more complicated, right? Apart from that, you know, let's just celebrate what they're coming out with. Um, Tan solo, his NCT lab, incredible performance, incredible performer. And it's just nice to see him go back to it, you know, from Paint Me Naked <laughs> um, to this. Vocally, he just popped off like hello. His sustain in the upper register is incredibly difficult. His breath for you to be able to just keep going that high in the falsetto is just so, so, so incredible. Uh, very impressive. Um, his shift, you know, like from like the contemporary artistic part of it and then the swag and vibe, like his versatility is just so, it is there. I don't know, what, I'm gonna stop because <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Well, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.